Yeah, hello farmers, welcome back to Green Mountain Forest. Day one of fall has arrived. Uh, our bank account is looking a little bit better thank you to the property incomes of the solar power plants and the scrap metal yard paying us their leasing fees. I was busy on the last day of summer in the afternoon hours. Went a little crazy with the tree harvester. Starting to clear out some wood uh, uh, lumber around the sheep pasture, the old sheep pasture. Uh, no wool yet, but the manure, we got a little bit more manure, a little, a little bit more. I probably should check on the animals as well. I, I need to see how much food they got. Uh, yeah, so I've been cutting down some trees, and uh, yeah, we need to take care of a lot of stumps. A lot of, um, why is there a limb on that one? Uh, yeah, a lot of logs to pick up, a lot of stumps to grind. I'll get to that later on, maybe off camera. Uh, but yeah, I opened up around the sheep pasture. Kind of starting to open up a little bit, so our future for our chicken coop. I don't know what coop we're going to buy just yet, um, but opening up a little bit. I may take down a few more trees to push it back a little bit. I would like to have a chicken coop that requires water, um, so that may be a thing. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, though, I should just go ahead and pop up the HUD for the sheep just to make sure. Um, grass slash hay, they're doing fine, actually, uh, for the most part. Uh, but yeah, still four sheep, uh, nothing, nothing new there. Just want to make sure they're all good. And, uh, yeah, I was thinking after creating this field last time, like, oh yeah, we got a field. I'm like, yeah, it's not, it's not, I mean, I could harvest this by hand almost. Uh, so I cut down some more trees, but you can see the slope starts to get a little bit thicker and steeper as we go, go along here. So I did clear out enough and I was like, boy, it's getting kind of steep here. Uh, so we'll clear out the logs around here and the stumps and expand this field down to here. Uh, we're going to double it in size. And I'm stuck on logs. I got logs everywhere. Logs, logs, logs. Uh, yeah, so we're going to double the size of this field. So when we make some wheat next year for our chickens, uh, we have a good amount. So also I was thinking like, well, wait a minute. You know, we got to start planting something here. Uh, if I do harvest, I don't have a silo. It's like, okay, where, where did I originally thought I was going to put the silo? So I brought the tree harvester to the other side of the road. So this is where I really want the main farm for the future to expand to. So I want to put the silo just, just right across from here, kind of like where we're clearing out right now. So I'm starting to clear a path a little bit. I can only go about uh, this far. And this is where my land boundary is. So I need that $474,000 to buy that land. Um, that's the next, the, the big purchase that we need to deal with. Uh, but yeah, the side, there, there's going to be like a, a main road that comes down through here. Actually, you know what? Let's fly up here. Let's uh, zip on up so you can kind of see. I'll be even back up just a little bit so you can kind of see the, the road that we have. So there's the road. I want a road. To cut on down to it. Of course, it's a little foggy, but you can see straight up in the distance. That's kind of where the beach is, I, I would suppose. I really haven't been down there at all. Um, because I don't really have a way to teleport down there. And I'm not driving nothing down there either. But uh, on the map, it shows like a beach. Uh, the cell phone tower is going to go right there in that little knoll. Straight ahead. I know it's kind of hard to see this morning. And you can kind of see some of the smokestacks down there from the, uh, the carton factory. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, but yeah, I want the silo to kind of go right where the tree harvester, right in front of the tree harvester. Sort of in that general area. Uh, it's kind of flat up here. I want to put some sheds down because we're getting more equipment. I need I need more space, but I really need to buy the land right in front of us before I can really do anything about it. But I might be able to clear enough to put down a silo, but I don't, I don't, we don't need a silo now. But uh, yeah, we really need to, or I really need to. Uh, I do have a lot of trees to sell, but I need to get the cash to buy this land so I can start uh, expanding, putting a road down to the beachhead. We can't get all the way to the beach because there's more land we'll have to buy, but I need to get a road to um, that knoll, and I have to buy the land, like I said, to put down the cell phone tower. But I think I may access the cell phone tower from across from the carton factory. So, uh, yeah, we do have a lot of logs on the ground. Uh, I don't know how many trailer loads or whatever. I also want to, sometime in the near future, if I had more cash, and I, I may just cut down these trees anyways, but I want to cut down these trees and put down, I don't want to say regular trees, but trees that will change color. I mean, it is fall, so I would like to put down some more trees, but really, I'm focused on saving some cash. Um, 
oh, you probably saw when I walked by it. So the fuel problem we were having with, with the wood chipper, uh, let me go into our PDA market here for Wayne's shop here. So on the far right, we, we bought the uh, FST 990 diesel and def fuel tank. Tried it with that. Uh, wouldn't work. Uh, it would refuel the tractors and equipment. So I said, okay, maybe because it's the model one, let me try the, the base game one. So I went back to Wayne. I swapped out this one here for this one here. I lost a little bit because we had fuel in this tanker. So when Wayne gave me this one, I put a little bit of fuel in it, went down. Still could not fill the wood chipper. So what we ended up doing was um, animals. I uh, had to spend a little bit more cash. Uh, I did make a trip on down. Where, where? Wait, 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 wait. Where do I need to go? Is it in here? Wait, wait, uh, yep, yeah, this one right here. Yes, this this tank right here. So, yeah, I had to pay uh, 25000 Well, it was a little bit more than that because I did I did put a paint job on it. But we walked right past it. So I did put some diesel fuel in, went on down to the wood chipper. Not a problem. Not a problem whatsoever. So it does hold 8,000 liters. I painted it red just to just remind myself that's for, like, diesel fuel. And, um, yeah, so now we're kind of all set on the diesel fuel. Let's jump on down to, it's kind of nice to see, actually see like uh, markers on the map, got slowly growing here. Um, place for wood chipper, I guess we can visit that. Uh, right now it's not running, but we do have, as you can see, that's the fuel. We got thir uh, almost 1,400 liters of fuel. I'm out of logs, but uh, we did end up getting like 46,000 uh, liters of wood chips, which is quite a bit. Because the carton factory, as it ran overnight, I haven't even used 10,000 liters of water, but that's not a big deal. Uh, wood chips, I think we put in like 13,000 or 17,000. So in a day, it's going to use like maybe 20,000 wood chips. And the logs, I think I've used like 10,000 liters of logs. And you can kind of see some of the outputs here. As we go around, this will hold, uh, for my calculation, these will hold like 10 pallets. So I do have a little bit of concern, or do I not? No, I don't think I have a concern. Uh, meaning I thought I placed the, the factory too close to the scrap metal place. But the way these pallets are spawning, there's five there, and I think a second row is going to spawn in front of it. That'll be ten pallets. And these may be a little bit concerned because it looks like it's a row of three. One, two, three. Yeah, and then I'm getting like a second row, so it, it may spawn in that building, which could be a little bit of a problem. But we do have a good amount of paper products, I guess. If we go into the store market, though, as we as I was shown before, they don't really sell for much. So basically, right now, if I sold four pallets, oh, excuse me, if I sold a pallet, I get like a thousand dollars. Actually, just under a thousand dollars. So if these were going for like two fifty, and a pallet has four thousand liters, I basically get a thousand dollars per pallet. Now, just keep in mind, I did. We're, we're only putting wood chips. Uh, wa the water is free uh, and wood chips and logs and I think I got plenty of trees I can go around and get uh, lumber from so I mean is, am, am I going to make money on this on this factory Whew, in the long run probably uh, just keep in mind that we also are running on hard economy as well so uh, we paid uh, what we pay like 220 is it $200,000 for this place yeah, it's usually like 220. So it is 220. Uh, so yeah, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta sell a lot just to get my money back on the factory, and then I can start making some money. I, it just gives us another option, something else to do in the farm, and uh, it adds to the town. But uh, I'm not gonna make a killing on this, but uh, it will keep us going. So in order to move said pallets, I need pallet forks, and I have not bought no pallet forks yet. So let's go in here while I'm thinking about it. Uh, right now, we're just going to get the pallet forks for the front loader. Now that I know it can hold quite a bit, um, is there any like? Do I have any special pallet? I mean, pallet forks are pallet forks, right? Uh, I know it went by more. I was just kind of looking to see if I had any any modern ones. Um, I mean, just keep them black, or how much? How much to paint them? Two hundred bucks. All right, uh, sure. So yeah, we're kind of all set there thousand dollars in new vehicles i oh yeah because it was uh, 800 for the pallet forks to uh 200 for painting um so i i did cut down a few more trees around here as well to kind of widen the road where the road's going to go uh so like i said i do have logs um i probably am going to sell them at the sawmill just because 
this over here it does take a while to process stuff and I'm not going to make a killing on it right away. And I would like a little bit of cash. I think we're good to go on the witch ups for a while. Like I said, we got we do have um, 46,000. And since the town is not using the, the dump truck at the moment, let's go ahead and back up and we'll load up and get this over to our factory just so it, it's, it's there, it's good to go. Load on up. Should almost be a full load. Yeah, so it took me a little while with Wayne to get the... Uh, once I told Wayne what I was doing, he says, Oh, well, you need this kind of a fuel tanker. But I'm like, but that's like three times as much as I was trying to spend. And he goes, well, I'm sorry. This is what you need. I'm like, all right. I could mod this dump truck. Or not mod it, but... Uh, increase the capacity. This, this dump truck can actually hold, I do believe, 200,000 liters, but... Alright, so now we have enough wood chips for ages. Actually, I don't know how much wood chips this can hold. Looks like quite a bit. Uh, looks like 50,000 is the limit. Yeah, so I definitely don't need any wood chips. Don't need to run that for a while. I'm not going to make wood chips and sell them at the sawmill. Or I don't think this place is offering too much for wood chips either. Wood chips really suck. Uh, we all know that. Uh, yeah, so the price is not that good either. Um, silage is something I, I could get into, but you can see the silage price is not good either. And also today we might, or not, maybe not in this video, but we might get to mowing some grass. The weather is going to be actually decent for a couple days. So once we get some logs cleaned up and uh, some more area cleaned up around the farm where all that grass is, I could probably mow it and definitely let it dry. As I try to turn out of here. Uh, let, of course, let the grass dry, turn the hay. We'll sell some hay to Dwayne. Wayne could probably use no 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 I was trying to I was gonna go up there but uh no I know I can't do that and then I ran to my own tractor which is exactly what you want to do to your equipment so I think the first thing I need to do this morning is now that I kind of giving you a tour and what I've been doing uh yeah we clean up a lot of land so I think it's time to sell some logs so we can get a little bit more cash I mean like the, the our goal is half million dollars uh yes we still have a loan of 1.2 million um, it is what it is. I don't want to pay any of that loan up because I really need this land over here to expand what I, what I need to do. So, without further ado, uh, let's grab some logs here. Uh, I got plenty to go around. Uh, let's see, switch to the right. Turn it on here. And like I said, once I clean most of this up around here, uh, we'll probably get the... the uh, the puma going and mowing some grass so it can start drying like I said it's not supposed to rain today or tomorrow which is good news for me and the grass that uh, it may look like that grass is fully grown well actually you can kind of see where, I'm, where where the truck is sitting this grass is 100% kind of over where the tanker is and where, where we mowed before you can kind of see it's not fully grown it is that 67% but since the weather is so good I think we'll just go ahead and cut it uh, we're not going to get much out of it, but I uh, just want to help Dwayne out, the three brothers, uh, have them get some uh, some bales going. And plus, I'll get a little money as myself as well. And uh, you can see it's uh, a lot of stumps in here, so i got to be careful not to tip over my logging trailer or to get stuck. But, I mean, if I get stuck, um, yeah, i got Superman strength, so uh, it's not too much of an issue. Yeah, so, yeah, we're expanding the farm, but really, like I said, I need that land kind of across. Um, we're getting a little bit more equipment. I'm running out of shed space, which seems kind of weird to say that, but I am. And I think that's a good enough load for our first load. Oh, it feels good, like I said, to have land down. I mean, not land down. A field down, but after I saw the size of the field, I'm like, I could, I could harvest that by hand. Uh, so, let's expand it a little bit more. I mean, that should be, that field is big enough to feed the chickens that we're going to have, I do believe. I could actually get the chicken pen going. Nope, nope, nope. Save the money for the land. You need the land across the street. Uh, 
I mean, I could borrow more cash and do it that way, but another half million, that means I'll probably be paying $11,000 at night for loan interest. I'm trying to keep it below 10. Uh, we're right now we're paying just shy of eight grand at night and our property income is uh, balancing that up quite well. Actually, I'll see when we get down here and sell our first load of logs. Let's give us some, some cash. I keep forgetting that uh, I got that turned on, so every time I hit that button, the heads-up display disappears. Yep, I made that road should be wide enough for anything to get down to the scrapyard, the cell point, and the wood chipper. Like I said, the wood chipper, that's not there to make wood chips and sell at the sawmill. That's definitely not worth it at all. You're definitely better off selling the logs. That's for darn sure. Yeah, the wood chipper is just there to make wood chips. Maybe in the future, if the farm's doing really well in cash, and I just want them to do something different here, uh, maybe. But I'd rather just go ahead and do this. Uh, feels good to just get some more cash back into the bank account. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go keep uh, making some trips up to the farm. Uh, I'm going to get rid of all those logs around the field um, and in front of the sheep pasture. And uh, yeah, then i got to bring the case poom up. We'll get rid of the stumps and then we'll hit, attach the mowers. We'll mow that grass so it can start drying. Yeah, I did cut it down a tree here because this is one of those trees that uh, switch to the right. That's my problem. There we go. Uh, you can see I got a floating stump there, so I need to take care of that at some point. But yeah, I'm going to go up and get rid of all these trees. And I'll meet you back up at the farm, probably with the case puma, when I'm finishing up grinding up the stumps. Then we'll uh, attach our class uh, mowers. And we'll make some trips around there. Like I said, we're not going to get it, make a killing off these hay bales. But, you know, I, I, I just want to help out the three brothers a little bit. And, uh, and, and beef up our bank account just a little bit. So I'll see you in a while. Well, after a few trips down to the sawmill with the logs, we're up to $87,000 in the bank account, which is really nice. I got plenty more logs to sell. That's for darn sure. Uh... It's always hard to tell when I'm cutting logs and to figure out how many loads I have actually got and how much money is actually sitting on the ground. But uh, I'm thinking with the amount of logs I got left, I'm going to guess I can probably get the bank account up to 200 grand by selling the rest of the logs. But I cleared out all the, uh, the logs around the field over here. Now, of course, we're cutting the stumps. And I said, well, I, want, I need to get this grass cut so it can dry the rest of the day. So today and tomorrow, no rain whatsoever. But the day after that is rain. And I think that... Uh, day after that it shows a slight chance of rain but as we all know in seasons the further you go along with the forecast less predictable it becomes uh, but since I do have all this grass here and uh, the end of the season is kind of approaching uh, it's the first day of fall I understand but we only have like six days of fall and a couple days have rain in it so when it comes time to actually cutting grass and making hay um, yeah it's, you you got to do it when you can you can do it. Uh, so the one thing I was thinking about is, okay, you know, if, if it's going to rain like it is, and, and it, it's like real life. You, know, you can't always predict when it's going to rain. So I, I would hate to have, like, a grass field and not be able to cut it for days to make hay. So I might get into the silage. And the silage will become important because, I, you know, we are thinking about um, having some cattle on the farm in the future. And, nope, I did not get the entire stump. Uh, but we're not going to do it for milk production. We're going to do it for meat production. So I could put down the meat factory somewhere at some point. But, I mean, we're talking at least next season, not this season. Uh, because I think the cattle have to, um, when you buy the cattle, you got to have them for a while. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, you got to have them, you got to feed them, do all that kind of stuff before they're good to send off. And the reason why, I'm, by the way, if the reason why I'm in this view is the best way to see the stumps on this map of the grass the way it is. Uh, I think I got all the stumps around here, and I got the two over here as well. But you can see, uh, like if I'm in this angle here, you can't really see the stumps. But if you go in this view, 
it's easier to see. It's like here. I mean, you can kind of see where the stumps are because they're kind of tall. But if I go straight up, you can really see the stumps rather well. Uh, you're gonna grind that. I don't want. I don't want to take up any of my. Oh, because I'm on a. I forgot the sheep pasture kind of put like a little bit of landscaping here. I would like to get involved in some more landscaping. And you know, I don't want to be cutting up any of my my logs here. Uh, I do want to get involved in more landscaping, but landscaping takes cash. And right now, we really just need to save up so I can uh, purchase the land next door. And start making a road on down to the beach. Because that's where most people, I'm going to say that's going to be the main, main strip. I know we said we're going to call this the road that we put down the main strip. But really, that's going to be the main, main strip. Because that's going to be the road that leads down to uh, waterfront property. So, um... And yeah, the the wand I had for the pressure washer tank, it's uh, it's MIA. It still shows in my inventory, but uh, yeah, if you're not placing it on the ground, it kind of like disappears. So I'm gonna have to sell that one and buy another one. So I may just uh, <laughs> uh, I may just have to swap that all out. Anyways, yeah, I do want to make some hay just to make a little bit of cash. The grass is here. Why not? And plus, it's fun to use our equipment and get involved in something else. Also, I should mention, I uh, almost forgot, I had to go on down to the carton factory and use my human strength to move the paper pallets uh, because the factory stopped because there was no room, more room for paper pallets. So, even though when you go down there and it shows input-output, I was only half full on the paper, so yeah, it's too close to the scrap metal yard to put down any more uh, paper pallets. So, I can only hold five unfortunately five pallets so I'll have to just keep that in mind and when one gets full or if it can't make any more then it stops all production so keep that in mind as well can I unfold that I did can I lower that I did turn that on and this should be dry grass because I think the grass moisture is at like 13% so I'm hoping that it's a lot lower than it was last time. Uh, I think last time we cut the grass, it was like at 19% moisture. I think today it's like at 13. So hopefully it doesn't take as long to dry into hay. It, it, it'll probably take the rest of the day and I may not be able to do this until morning. But the weather should be fine. I mean, we're not going to get a whole lot off of this field at all. I don't want to say field, but a whole lot off of this land but we have it might as well try to get it and every little penny is going to count because I need $474,000 to get the land across the street and once I get that I can start making a longer road down that way and of course the more trees I cut the more money I get for lumber all that fun stuff so the way we got to look at the carton factory is for every pallet that we see there, every pallet is just roughly worth about $1,000, which does not sound like a lot, but the way it's making it and the way I'm going through the uh, supplies I'm putting in, meaning wood chips and, and logs, um, I think it's actually profitable. So, I mean, we didn't put that many logs in, I don't think. And wood chips, I've, yeah, not many wood chips either. So, yeah, right now I got like $15,000 worth of pallets sitting down there, which doesn't sound like a lot, and it's not when you, when you need a half million dollars, but I think I'm getting more than out of it than if I were to bring the, all those logs to the lumber mill. So I'm not too concerned about getting every blade of grass here. Uh, there isn't much. We'll probably get like five bales out of this, maybe, something like that. And for what Dwayne pays us for it, I realize he's got to make a profit as well. But for what he pays us for it, I feel like I'm getting ripped off. And I don't think I need any hay bales for our sheep for the winter. Because I got plenty in storage. And if I ever do, then uh, yeah, we'll go up and see Dwayne and say, Hey, Dwayne, remember those uh, bales I sold you for like $100 a piece? Can I buy one for me for like 600 Because that makes total sense. <laughs> But you know what? Uh, it, 
right now on this farm, sometimes it's fun just to get away from cutting down trees and grinding stumps. Still got some hay on the ground from last time. So it shows that the hay does not uh, decompose as much as grass would. Now the only thing I don't know, I hope this switches over to hay before midnight, only because since it's grass at midnight comes, I think I'm going to, you know, you lose some grass at overnight. So I don't know, You in, was it in 15 or 17 that when it, when it comes midnight, it's usually when the gr grass would like decompose all at once. I mean, all your grass wouldn't decompose, but that's when the de uh, decomposition, is that the word I'm looking for? Decomposition would happen. It would be right at midnight, so any grass you left out there at midnight, it would just go like, poof, this is how much you lose. I don't know in 19 if it's gradual that it decomposes on the ground, or is it still at midnight. I have no idea. But that's all the grass I really want to cut. Uh, let's turn that off. And now turn that off as well. And fold them on up. So not too bad. I mean, I, yesterday I was uh, really short on the cash. I mean, I was right at zero dollars. So luckily the solar power plants and the leasing fees for the scrap yard came in. Uh, gave us enough cash to pay our loan interest. And now today we're selling some logs. And uh, with the property income still coming in, we're almost up to $100,000. Just another $400,000 to go, and uh, we can buy more property. And expand. Uh, let's see, the Case Puma. Yeah, I'm done with the Case Puma for grass work. The International can handle... The wind drawing. Oh, I will need that uh, to bail. I need that to bail. Um, yes. So what is the market right now for any of our paper products? Did it max out? Um, let's go down and grab the paper that maxed out. And uh, no, sorry, cardboard, uh, carton. I think this is carton. This is paper. Um, I'm trying to keep an eye on the price as much as I can just to see what the max price uh, income is. Uh, I don't need any fuel for the wood chipper. I don't need. We don't need wood chips for a while. So, yep, yeah, we got a we got a plus sign for drying grass today. So hopefully, like I said, hopefully before it gets dark, um, I can windrow that. Uh, technically, I can actually windrow it now, and it'll dry just the same. I do believe, but uh, we're gonna leave it spread out like that to make it more. Wait, do I have the front loader on this? I do. Okay. Um, I'll leave it spread out like that to make it more realistic. It should dry better spread out like that. So on up to the store, Wayne uh, should have our pallet fork out there. And we'll go down and we'll sell some of these paper products. Might May as well. And the good news is for right now, it's not that far from where we're going. But in the future, uh, I do have at least one more placeable um, sell point to put down. So at least we'll have a couple competition locations to sell at. I think I picked out the right paint scheme to match the front loader and such. Yep, that all looks good. I was going to say, I'll show you what color it is, but uh, I'm not in the area to show that. So I do need, as for the uh, lamps, I still need to cut down some of these trees on the side of the road. Let's just face it, I need to cut down trees everywhere, don't I? But, um, yeah, for the, I, I was actually thinking when I was picking up the logs and driving around, like, you know, for the first season, you know, when I first started the this Let's Play, I was thinking on the first day of spring, like, how far can I get in the first season? Um, and it's further than I thought I would, honestly, because I, you know, I, I gave me almost like, I'm like, Jesus, it'll probably take me like three full days in spring just to get a road down to the sawmill. And I think we did it in one in-game day. Or a day and a half at least. But uh, yeah, definitely, like I said before, I'd like to get into more landscaping as well because um, yeah, like over here where the side of the road is kind of like a cliff. I put some rocks down. I want to I wanna change up the uh, texture on the ground. Uh, I got some smoothing out to do on the side of the road as you can see there. 
We got more roads to put in. A lot of plans still to go here on Green Mountain Forest. And I am thankful to the town to let me use let me use the uh, dump truck when I need. I still got a floating tree there I need to take care of, but uh, we got you know take care of that road. All right, so yep, pallets. I'm not good at pallets. Now, let me zoom in a little bit more here. So each pallet is not even worth a thousand dollars. Because uh, I forgot this was going for what, like two hundred and thirty per a thousand. So if this is a full pallet, yeah, I'm gonna get like nine hundred bucks for it. Can I just sell it like that. Nine twenty-four. But you know what? It'll help out the community around here. So people, any... Yeah, I'm not good at pallet forks. I'm telling you that right now. See, I'm getting so used to the tree harvester. Now I'm going back to pallet forks. It's just terrible. Uh, but it helps out the community around here. I was just going to say for people who need packaging and stuff like that. Helping out the community any way that I can. So little by little, it'll help out. Like I said, it's not a great, huge money maker when you're on the hard economy. But in the future, if, it, if I have to sell at the other sell point, then I'm going to need like a uh, trailer to load them up and bring everything over. So also, like we were trying to see last time, um, what are those called? I already forgot what they're called, Dale. I was thinking about getting oh, a skid steer. That's right. I never really used the skid steer too much, but um, yeah, I can see myself maybe buying one of those in the future just because uh, the International might be too busy doing something else. So having a skid steer down here to move these pallets around load them up onto something ship them on out but really it shouldn't take us too long to get the money to buy the other land I could just go to the bank and take out the loan and pay that like I said earlier but I really rather not if I can help it and I don't think we really need to I got plenty of trees to cut around in areas it's not like I'm going around that's not fun uh, it's not like I, I'm going around just cutting trees anywhere. I'm cutting trees to where we need to cut trees. It's like around the, around the sheep pasture. Uh, we're doing that so we can put a chicken coop down. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Uh, definitely after we buy the land. Land first. And then I might do the chicken coop and I could just go ahead to the store and buy chicken feed. Just to get the chickens on the go because the eggs are worth quite a bit. As they usually are. And that pallet did not spawn, not, uh, excuse me, did not flip the way I needed to. And it's kind of stuck against the building, it won't even budge. Alright. There we go. So I just have to keep in mind, like every 12 hours or so, as long if this is still, if this should always be running, unless I get uh, too busy and forget to fill it full of water, wood chips, or logs. Uh, but every 12 hours or so, the paper products are going to get too close to the scrapyard, and I'll have to come down and move those so the production can keep on rolling.
So right now, the way it's going, I would say every 12 hours, this place is going to make me 15 grand. Somewhere around there. I'm getting a little bit closer to the scrapyard. Let's just go sell one of these right now. I just want to sell this to make sure the sell point was uh, was working. Was having well, I, I used it for the water the other day. Who knew that way I could sell water? It does take diesel fuel as well. I did check. I did test that. Yeah, so we're only getting eight hundred seventy-six dollars for the paper. How much is the paper going for? Uh, paper is two nineteen. The carton is two thirty-one. The pallets are two twenty-four. So yeah. Just have to see how this market's going to fluctuate. I don't think if I go into the seasons menu, uh, now I got to find out where that stuff actually is. Uh, paper. So yeah. So since we just really kind of got it going the other day, it's not going to really show the market too well. Um, I would assume yesterday was 229. So that's not a bad, you know, decent price. Uh, the empty pallets were worth a lot more yesterday, almost 240 and today it's worth what it is. And the same thing with the carton. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's not, it's, we're not going to, you know, go from rags to riches from the carton factory, but, uh, I like the mod. Uh, we have plenty of wood and wood chips to go around and the water's free. So, Yeah. Um, I also promised you scrapyard. I got to get my stuff out. Well, the only stuff I got left is my water tanker. But right now, I really have no place to put it. I guess I could park them over, over in this area here because, like I said, we don't. I don't really need the wood chipper for any time soon. Um, because we got plenty of wood chips. Plenty, plenty, plenty. We've only gone through uh, twenty percent of our water, uh, the wood chips, and even the logs. I don't think I've even gone through ten thousand liters of logs yet. But, uh, yeah, so I think it's working out great. Um, slowly we'll make the money from it, and hopefully someday there'll be a great demand for it. But like I said, I would like you to do some landscaping here, make a better road coming down here, and get rid of that road over there. But the main thing that we're going to be doing, probably beginning next episode, uh, in between episodes, what I'll do is I'll try to go around, gather the rest of my logs that I have around the sheep pasture, and, of course, across the street, um, I probably got maybe three or four more loads. So I could, like I said, get me up to pretty close to 200 grand, which is 40% of the way to our goal of being able to buy property. But yeah, I got a good amount of logs there, good amount of logs there, some up here. Uh, I like that it kind of opened up around the sheep pasture a little bit. It's kind of a shame that these trees, um, are not changing color, but, uh, you know, what? it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And like I said, I think right here, I can picture a chicken coop area going in here. I don't know which one's going to be going in here. And yeah, I'm thinking my cattle might go in over here. Uh, I'm, I'm actually thinking about, I, I, I'm battling of, do I want to do, when I make silage, do I want to put it into a silage pit and compact it and cover it? Or do I want to do wrapping bales? Yeah, I know. Uh, if I do a silage pit, I mean, we, of course, we, as we all know, we got we got we need to cut the grass. Um, so if I did a silage pit, one I have to buy a silage pit, which is not that expensive, and then I'll have to buy like a loading wagon to load to load up the grass, or yeah, I'm gonna need a loading wagon to pick up the grass. I, I thought about something else. I'm like, no, that doesn't, that doesn't work. So I'm gonna have to buy a loading wagon to load, load up the grass and put it into the pit, or. I can just forego everything and just make grass bales and then buy a wrapper and wrap them and stack silage bales. But I, I, you know, it's, it's, it's good to plan for the future, but then again, sometimes you try to think too far ahead of what's going on here. So this, once again, this grass moisture today is at what is at 13%. So the last time we cut grass, the moisture in the grass was at 19%. So I'm hoping, um, that the, at the grass being 6% lower in moisture, it won't take as long for this dry grass to turn into hay. And like I said, we can sell some hay bales uh, to Dwayne. Um, yeah, I got four hay bales plus one I bought from Dwayne uh, when we first started. Um, 
Yeah, I still got three, four sheep. Yep. Yeah, and their manure is here. And eventually, uh, we're getting close. I think another season before we start seeing some wool. Um, I'm not going to bother buying a pallet yet. The 10,000 liter pallet. I mean, I got four sheep. So I'm not too concerned. <laughs> not too concerned at all. And uh, we'll see how it goes with the sheep through the first winter and see how much food I go through. And maybe next year... Um, no, that's the wrong button. It can't go in there for animals anymore. Uh, maybe next year I might get more sheep depending on if, if any of these sheep become pregnant. But right now, none of them are expecting offspring whatsoever. And, uh, while I'm thinking about it, they probably could use some water. So I'll come over here and give them some water. But yeah, in between episodes, I'm going to sell the logs. Um, I'll even, uh, trim down some of these stumps. And just waiting for the grass to turn to hay, and uh, we'll make some hay bales, sell them to Dwayne, and, uh, and probably extend this field as well down to here. So, yeah, next episode, we'll probably just be working in this area right here. And if the carton factory needs any attention, we'll also take care of that as well. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time on Green Mountain Forest. But until then, have a good one.